Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout. It is a full body. The workout is gonna consist of 50 moves. Each move is done for 45 seconds with a 15 transition. We're gonna be utilizing dumbbells, a mat, and your amazing body. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Let's warm things up here. So give me some shoulder rolls, open up the chest. Make them a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna open and close here and just a little step touch. Just kind of move the body in all different directions here. Get it nice and warm. It's a little chilly for us today, but we are here for you guys. Get this workout in today. Bigger here, really opening up the chest and then crisscrossing the arms in front. All right, last two. Start to squat down, bend the knees, rise up. In your squat, make sure you settle to the heels. The toes can slightly lift. Last two. And then start to lunge, alternating lunges, reaching up with a little side bend if you wanna throw that up and over. Big step to the back bending the knees one more each leg and then let's go lateral lunge just to this side step in just to the side and touch the floor one more time other side lateral lunge last one Knees come up and just give them a little hug and then switch. Ooh, a little balance. One more each leg. All right, drop into your squat. Push those elbows into the knees. Settle for a moment. And then hands are gonna go down onto the ground. You're gonna step back into your plank. And then from that position, give yourself a down dog. Hips go up, right knee into the chest. Hips go up, down dog, left knee into the chest. And just do a couple of these to get the arms a little warmer, the core. Last one. Step the feet wide in in front. Drop again, push those knees outward. Take yourself up for a little jog or march. Heels to your butt. And we just need a, another few more seconds to get warm here. How about some jumping jacks, guys? Open and close, you can tap, you can jack it out. And a little high knee run. Bring those knees up to the chest. Use your arms, very athletic here. A little bit faster. Use your arms and we are ready to go. All right, so remember each move is gonna be for 45 seconds. We're gonna start with a lot of squatting options here or squat different variations here. So we're gonna start with a nice moderate to heavy load in a sumo squat. All right, so load it up. Give me that sumo position. Weight can be down and we're dropping and lifting up. Nice range of motion here. Shoulders are back, chest is up. And again, we want a moderate to heavy load because we're only doing each move one time. All right, you get that 15 second recovery. Not really recovery because we're gonna keep working those legs here. So this movement, this sumo squat is a full range, right? As low as you can go and then come all the way up. Pinching something in the back side as you come up. All right, last five seconds here. Bend those knees as much as you feel that you can. Getting ready for a pulse. So when you're ready to, I'm gonna bring my weight upward. And the pulse is really gonna be like a half range. So drop down into that squat here. Getting ready in three, two. Here we go, down, halfway up. 
So sometimes it depends on where you put your weight, how it feels. So sometimes it varies where you put it. It can be up, it can be low. It could be one dumbbell, down halfway. Oh yes. So you have those heels in, the toes turn out, the chest over the, the hips. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're gonna feel them, right? The first like, I don't know, I think like the first 12 or 13 moves is just legs. Oh, more than 13. <laughs> oh, I was just looking at the board. That's all right. All right, relax. Body weight, sumo squat. Shoulders back, chest is up. Get in that sumo position, going in three seconds here. And then if you want more challenge, right, bring the hands behind the head. And when the hands are behind the head, right, it's gonna force you to have better posture too. So push your head into your hands. You can vary the range. Right, so you could do a half, you could do a full, you could do all fulls. And if you want to be crazy, you could add a jump, right? I don't see Alex. I was waiting for Alex. I was waiting for Alex to do a little jump. I don't know. <laughs> crazy a little later. Yep, yeah, yeah, we can get a little crazy a little later here. Drop and lift here. All right, wall sit. We're all gonna get to the wall here. I'm gonna turn you with us. Hey, hey, hey. Here we go. Are we ready? Gently go, go against your wall. And here it is. All right, in that wall sit, drop your butt to try to get it to knee height. Those legs are just shoulder width apart. Pull your shoulders back, brace the core. Another great option is if you have any weights, you can always hold on to them. But our legs are pretty fired up, right? Woo, knees track your toes. Someone over here smells good. You took a shower. <laughs> oh, men's <laughs> deodorant. That's why I can smell it. Ooh. <laughs> it works better. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's more potent. All right, hold this here a few more seconds. Woo! Get nice and warm in those quads and relax. Push it away. All right, grab onto some weight. We're gonna go into a sumo squat, holding it and lifting just the right heel. Maybe a low back up here, turn the feet out. We're just gonna be holding and then lifting just the right side for half and then switch it to the left. So get into squat. Lifting just the right heel up and down here. Really roll into the toe. Bring your shoulders back, pull the core up and in. Lift it up. So holding can be very like we can ha definitely have strength and stillness here. Adding just that little bit of movement, mobility in your ankle and in your foot switch legs here. Maybe your booty can go down just another quarter of an inch. Ooh. All right, relax. Squat with an alternating knee. So again, we're gonna hold the weight up. It could be one dumbbell, it could be double dumbbells. We squat, then the knee comes up in front. All right, everybody's doing good though, I hear. Yeah, squat right knee, and then your left knee. If you feel like you wanna kick, definitely go for a kick. Inhale, you lower. Exhale, you're gonna lift that knee up towards the sky. In the squat, really brace the core. Keep the eyes looking out in front, keeping the arch in that low back. Butt goes down as back and far as you can. Swing. One or two dumbbells, depends on how it's feeling for you. We're swinging and pushing the hips forward. Keeping a nice wide stance here. Shoulders are back. Here we go. 
bend, push. And the pace really depends on you. All right, so sometimes if you have heavier, it might be a little slower. If you have a little faster, because you got a little lighter, great way to get some cardio. Rev that metabolism. Keeping the eyes lifted. Push those hips forward. Come on, go for it. Ugh. Don't let go of that dumbbell. Big press. All right, one heavy dumbbell. You're gonna squat and then we're gonna press. As you go up out of the squat, I want you the weight to go up with you here. Weight is in front, feet shoulder width. Here we go, squat, push. So keeping that pace that we just did in that swing to keep the heart rate elevated here. Compound movements, right? These get, definitely get the heart rate up. Oh, we are getting nice and warm now. All the way to the sky with that press. Okay, drop your elbows to your thighs. All the way up, there we go. All right, relax. Maybe you go back to your two dumbbells. It's a lunge with the right foot forward and only coming up halfway. So get into that lunge position. Lean a little forward for me on this one. Sink in that heel and you drop, come up halfway. So in that lunge, all right, roll your shoulders back. Lean a little forward, that puts more of that body weight in that front leg. And then draw the abs up and in. So we keep the knee having some kind of bend in it the whole time here. That just keeps that back of the leg activated. Those muscle fibers are staying whew, turned on. Oh yes. Less than 10 seconds here. Oh, good morning legs. And stop. Woo. All right, switching legs. And you should feel when you get into that single leg stuff that you feel that backside activate more. Get in your lunge, lean a little forward, pull the shoulders back, break the core, and here we go. So the tendency is, is that, you know, if my dumbbells were to touch, I'd turn them down. Hey, that's kind of easy but just keep them in your hands. It just goes low as you feel that you can with your legs. Down halfway up. Keeping a bend in the knee and leaning a little bit forward here. Pull something into that core. Oh yes. Loving this, right? Woo. Next move is just body weight, you guys. Three, two, whew, take out of it. All right, body weight. So stay low. We're gonna stay in kind of this nice low. Gonna drop right leg back, then the left leg back, but stay low. Shoulders back, chest is up. Here we go. Lunge, stay low. It's like you're trying to be as quiet as you can here. Bend the knee. And that back knee. If you have a soft surface that you're on, the knee can just barely touch the floor. So those legs stay, right? All the backside stays activated here. Ooh. 10 seconds, you guys. Then we got a narrow squat. All right, grab something moderate. Woo, narrow squat. And then I'm gonna have you do, to bring the legs close, alternate a punch up to the sky here. Feet in, narrow. 
Switch one arm. And the other arm. So you're kind of doing some of the same movements, but we just switch it up a little bit. Feels a little bit different. Maybe you even go really super narrow, but when you push up, you might lose your balance. So you gotta work some balance here. Woo. You're pressing your knees in. All right, suitcase swing. I'm gonna go back to my little bit heavier here. The hands stay down by the side. Feet stay in squat position here. You're dropping the squat. Then you swing forward. Drop, push. There it is. Hold for a second, then push forward. Down, up. Or you can stay here. If the swing is too much for your back, Stand up tall. Keep your eyes lifted. <laughs> Come on, pull that abs up and in. Oh yes. <laughs> Feeling the heart rate staying elevated here. All right, relax. No weight. Squat pulses. No weight. Let's add some movement to it. We'll step out, step in, step out, step in. Get in that narrow position here. Step out, in, out, in. Option. All right, leave the ground a little bit or no bit. Right? Moving squats are great. Muscles up. And you can hop a little bit and be on the end. Listen up, we got a single leg deadlift coming up here. Medium to moderate weight here. Right leg will be staying for this one. <sighs> Moving on back side a little bit here. We're all gonna turn this direction here. Right leg is forward, balance. Give me that deadlift. Waist to the toes, come up. Hinge forward and stand up tall. So a little bit more balance here when we're in single leg. You can always do a kickstand. You can put the foot down. Look out in front. <laughs> Length the spine from the toe to your head. Come up tall. Let your arms just be long and heavy. Hamstring, low back. All right, we're switching legs. So let's turn to the other side. Find your balance, right? So if you need a moment here, pick up that back foot a little bit. See how it is. Roll the shoulders back. Brace the core. And then when you're ready, tip it down and rise up. You need that kickstand, right? Put the foot on the floor, and you can still have an amazing deadlift here. And how low you go is really your flexibility here. I think that I'm going to hide it. Inhaling as you lower down, that's gonna help brace inside that core. Shoulders pulling back. All right, nice job here. Ooh, ooh. We're gonna go into a shoulder press. So give me what you feel like you can here. I'm gonna stay heavy, just standing. All right, hands are gonna be at about a 90 degree angle, those arms are, or have them inside. 
if you have any shoulder issues, right? So if there's a shoulder issue, sometimes having the palms this direction can feel better. Or you can just go no weight. All right, we're starting to shift now into the upper body, you guys. So we did a lot of squatting. Shifting into that upper body. Focusing in the shoulders for the next few movements here. Okay, I want those knees a little soft. Those abs pulling in. Upright row, upright row here. Palms face the body. We pull it up underneath the chin, elbows up higher than the shoulders. Push it down, pull it back. Here we go. Pull it up, push it down. So the way down, right, I want you to feel like you're kind of pushing it down with resistance. Pull up, hold, and then push down. So a little faster on the up, a little slower on the down here. Again, I want to make sure that those elbows are higher than the shoulders, so crank them up. Ooh. Get into the upper back, so you're gonna kind of feel it up around that neck area. Lateral raise, I'm gonna drop some of my weight here. We're coming up to the top, bringing it down. Shoulders roll it back, soften the knees. Oh. Bring it up, release control on the down. So just like we did in the in the um, upright row. So what makes this harder is that if you lengthen your arms longer and if you're feeling like it's getting really tough, bend your elbows, bring the weight a little closer to your body. You can vary it, thumbs can go up, pinkies can go up. So you can change some kind of rotation going on. Oh yeah. Slow it up, slow down. Squat and then a punch. I'm just going to go one level up from there. We're going to squat down. Maybe a little wide squat. Punch. You can change the punch that you want to go for. Weighs up. Dropping the squat. Punch, punch. And add a little twist. I like my thumbs up. And my elbows are touching my thighs in that squat. I'm gonna make sure I punch maybe with the lead other arm. When you reach out in front, you gotta brace that core. Oh yes, three seconds. Oh, Ooh, one dumbbell, forward raise. Each hand is on the head of the dumbbell. We're lifting it up. How about we do a lunge back with it? That sounds good to me, right? Ooh. <laughs> so the right leg stays, forward raise. Up, there we go. And kind of, I want you to shift back a little bit. Up, pause. Good, eyes are looking forward. Feet stay separated. Oh yes. Stay tall in that midsection here. <clears throat> How are you guys feeling at home though? Yeah, how about behind me? Woo. Oh yes, we got pike push up. Woo. Woo. Oh yeah, feeling good about this. Hands outside the shoulders, you're in a down dog position. Dropping the crown, you can lift the toes or the heels from the ground. 
drop the crown of the head to the floor by bending your elbows and press through the heels of the hands to come back up. So again, you can really lift the heels up and put some more weight in the hands in that down dog position. So when you do that push up, oh, it's more weight. Oh, I see that one leg up. Does it make it harder? Oh gosh. See, I didn't even go there. I'm going here, I'm staying here. Next time you do the workout, leg goes up. All right, take it on in. Oh, we got a beast row. So you're gonna be on hands and knees, grab a dumbbell. I'm gonna start with my right arm. I'm gonna turn this direction. Knees can be on or off the ground. Ready to go, here we go. Knees can be off, you can do a beast row. You can always take those knees to the ground. You could always be up. So there's a lot of options here. So when I'm in beast, what happens is my core works, my other arm has got to work. Another option too, you could be in a plank. Maybe your hand is on a chair. That would also be a great place to be. You've got lots of different options here. Yes, right side the whole time. Oh yeah. Goodness, right? Three, two, one. Oh, turn it around. Woo! That one felt good though, didn't it? The first few, and then you're kind of like, oh god, you gotta dig deep. You gotta kind of make sure you're like, oh, I'm focused. I'm ready for this. Other leg, or sorry, other arm. Beast and row. And while you're in it, if you're like, you need a break, take the knees down, do a couple rows, and then bring those knees off the ground. Have a nice table on your back. So when I have a narrow base in my legs, it's definitely you're gonna feel like you're tipping, rotating a lot. So maybe you open up your base a little bit. And then we're not gonna go very far after this. We got three seconds. We're gonna stay down here. All right, I'm gonna grab my fives. We're gonna be in a plank. You can stay up and standing. We're gonna do an alternating reverse fly. So I'll open up one arm, and then open up the other arm. You can be on your knees, you can be on your feet. Arm at the side, so lifting up to that shoulder height. Or maybe it goes a little higher. And then have that, the feet nice and wide dropping the hips to about shoulder height, if not maybe just a little bit below. You feel like you tuck the tailbone slightly. Press down in the weight that's on the ground to help you stay more stable. Oh yeah, look out in front. Inhale as that arm goes up. All right, decline chest press. We are halfway through this. Woo. So come on your back, look at the ceiling. This can be that moderate to heavy load. Knuckles up. Hips up. We press, keeping, keeping the hands nice and wide here. So, and then I'm gonna be in a decline position. That means that I have my hips lifted. If you by chance have a bench, or you can be a decline bench position here. <clears throat> and again, knuckles up, so kind of roll that wrist a little bit so it stays straight, no kinks in the wrist. And again, take your time, there's no need to rush. You kind of come up there, pause for a moment, then bring it down. All right, we're not gonna go very far. We're just gonna take the, the legs, <clears throat> change the position with the legs. So legs will be up. We're gonna do a half press and then bring it all the way inward. You can clap the hands together. 
<clears throat> so half and full. And when you bring it into the full, you can go rotating with the hands or you can just go straight up and in, whatever's good for you. So it's a little bounce and then fully bringing it up and in here. Be a little mindful in the back. So press the back into the mat, chin is down. We have your favorite push-ups. Nice and wide, staying on your toes if you can, and then when you feel like you need to, drop to your knees. And if you're dropping to your knees, then I want you to turn up the pace if you can. Here we go. Chest to elbow height. Yes, you can. Loving the push-ups today. <laughs> so nice, sometimes you want to do them twice, right? <laughs> Things that can make it harder, right? A little slow in the down, and a little slow. And then when you find that you need to be on the knees, maybe you turn up the pace. I'm gonna drop to my knees the last 15 seconds, turn up my pace. Eyes look out in front. Tighten something in your backside if you're on your knees. Three, two, one. All right, a kneeling bicep curl. So I want one knee on the ground and one foot bent. Hammer, you're gonna lean forward, give me a hammer curl. You're gonna kind of push yourself up for that shoulder press. Thumb up. Curl, press, control the down. So this can be a nice moderate load here. Hammer curls are a little bit easier than palms up curl. Whew. Fist to shoulder. Show me a big squeeze there. Oh yeah, show me those biceps, right? Woo! Yeah, I'm starting to feel this now, right? All the way up to the sky. It's that little bit of leaning forward. That makes it just that little bit harder here. Switching. So you got that elbow inside. Thumb is up. Push through that heel. Lean a little forward. Wherever you want your hand. I don't know where it's going. Mine just hangs. So curl, press. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, I heard that. <laughs> yeah, lots of things happen when you're bending and twisting. Just happens, it's natural. Big curl here, come on, fist to shoulder. Show me those guns you got there. You bring it up there, right? You're gonna bring that weight down to that foot. And we're gonna start standing with a curl. Three seconds. All right, grab something, grab two weights if you want. Uh, actually, you do want two weights. Okay, super. Palms are up. Kind of find where the, the bicep is turned on at this point, so slightly lifted, and then coming up like halfway. So these are kind of like a mid-range bicep curl with the palms up. Shoulders are rolled back. Keep those elbows under the shoulders. And again, finding the mid range, that's really where we're gonna find that the muscle stays more activated. Oh yeah. Eight seconds to go here. Woo, three. We got overhead extensions here. All right, relax. Woo. All right. Here, take these. These are eights. You can use my eights. I'm gonna use five. So overhead extension. We're gonna do. Oh, I'm gonna be here. 
right here. Bend your arms, just the right arm here. Just the right arm. So keep that other arm bent behind your head. And if you're like, that's just not for me today, then just go with this one arm first. And it's gonna help open up through the front of your body. So we get a bonus a tricep and a lengthener in the torso. Fully extend your arm all the way up. Did you use those A's I gave you? And who should do the tens? Holy moly. How to make this harder, this other arm, bring it back a little further here. Let it hold there. All right, relax for a second. You got those 15 seconds, bring them down. Yeah, now you gotta stay with the tens. All right, <laughs> bring it up, bend your elbows, right? So I have them by my ears, kind of back a little bit, tuck the tailbone. The other arm goes up. So the arm that stays bent is just like in an isometric hold. Oh yeah. yeah, I just went for the fives. I'm just being a little cautious of my body today. But I'm still feeling those fives. Mm. Fully extend it up. So when you start to lose the range, right, then you know you're just maybe a little bit too heavy here. And you start to use a lot of the rest of the body. That's a sign. Lighten it up a little bit or be done, right? That's another way you can be, you could just be, I'm done. Wait for the next move. Oh, you're gonna love me after this. I just looked at what oops. Tricep push-ups, whoo, tricep push-ups. <laughs> so tricep means hands within the shoulders here. And we're gonna pause for three seconds at the bottom, you guys. Knees or toes. Come down and hold one, two, three. Push away, down and hold. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, Anna. Down and hold. One, two, three. Hands inside the shoulders, down and hold. One, two, three. All right, down and hold. I need to count, because I know you, you'll come out too soon. Three, you're up. Down and hold. Elbows rub your ribs. One, two, three. Press it up. You can come up to your knees. One, two, three. Press up, come on, keep going, you got this. Eight seconds, down. Two, three, get one more in this. Come on, hold it, hold it. Down, two, three, nice. <laughs> okay, we're staying on our hands here. So we're gonna be in a plank position. We're gonna bring that knee in, open, send it back. In, open, here we go. Knee in, open, in, and back. So if you need to take it down one notch, Drop the other knee to the ground. In, open, same side, same side. You got it, right? In, open, out, then take it back. So what do we get here? We get your arms, get your abs, you get your hip, you get your butt. Oh my gosh, lots of stuff here. Try not to give me down dog though, Alex. Just stay in plank. So that way your core works more and your butt in go for it your pace we're almost there <laughs> challenge is that we do it on the other side so shake out your arms your arms are getting like woo baby right they've been like that <laughs> here we go give me that plank all right set the intention in and open so those times when you feel like you know, I don't know, I don't know if I can make it through this. You, you know, you gotta get that <clears throat> feeling of like accomplishment. When you're done, you're like, you know what, I did it. Or you just level it to where you need to be today. And you still made it, you did the best you could do. That's all that matters. Go for it, come on. Love the elbow option. Up and in the core, eight seconds. Oh yes. Uh, and we're staying down here. All right. Plank to forearms to plank. Start by dropping to your right on your right side first. We'll do the first half that way, and then the left side. 
So come up in hands, feet are open, lower down, and lift up. Strength, not speed here. Down and hold, and then come up. So settle for a moment in that forearm plank before you take it up. Ooh, yes, your arms are feeling it. Switch those arms here onto the left. Kickbacks are the last arm movement, you guys. <laughs> you got this, you got this. Okay, kickbacks. Ooh, come onto your feet. Dropping that chest. In this kickback, can you push the palms upward, rotate. So drop the chest down, elbows by the ribs. Rotate as you kick back. Stop the dumbbell right by your hip versus bringing it to your shoulder. Unless it's really heavy, and maybe it's too heavy. A little pinch between the shoulder blades. Help you with your posture. And again, looking out in front, knees are bent. You can always lift the chest up if the back is feeling anything. Three seconds. All right, we're moving on to core. Using one, I'm gonna use one dumbbell. All right, come on your back. We're gonna reach everything out, come up with a little twist. So everything goes out, then come up with a twist, twist. Hollow hold, then a little Russian twist. And again, you get stronger. You could try something heavier. If this is too much, right? No weight is fine. And if you're going really fast, then I need you to go heavier. Well, you have no weight. No, I don't. Oh, that's good. But <laughs> like you're really going fast because she has no weight. That's fine. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take it into a toe reach. So legs are up, you're gonna reach, and then come back and pause for a moment. Legs go up, reach, come back and pause. So first we're gonna reach for the toes, right here, reach, Come back, hold, legs up first, then reach, everything goes down. Hold, legs come up, then reach. Hold for a moment, legs come up, toe touch. I'm nowhere near my toes. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> That's a good way to put it. I have short arms, they can, there's no way for my hands to touch the my toes. Legs up, big reach. go for a little heavier here. Legs can be straight or they can be bent. We do a sit up, All right? We're gonna do a sit up, All right? Oh, sorry, reach behind you. No, I'm gonna have the weight at my shoulders. <laughs> sit up and then press up. I couldn't think of it. Like, you know, when you do the movement and you're thinking about it, you're like, what was that again? Roll up, press up. Again, you can do bent knees, totally works. The weight can kind of help you get off that ground. And they give me a strong, straight spine to press the weight up. Tuck the tailbone when you roll down. Roll it up <clears throat> and roll it down. All right, we're gonna try to stay heavy. Woo, bent knees here. Weight stays around the chest area. Gonna go to one side, center, 
other side. Then go back to that side you just finished with. So we're gonna go one side, center, and then go back to that side you just were at. And then come up center. So start back at the beginning. Side, center, side. Go back to that same side. Bring the weight only about halfway into your chest. And can you really reach to the outside? Over the knees. Outside. Outside. Over. Ooh. Nice job. Keeping, if you can keep it, legs are up. Weight can be behind the head or in front of the chest. We're gonna just do a, a little 90-90 crunch. We're lifting up. Oh yeah, that's gonna be hard, right? Love it. Here we go. Go for it. You can cross the ankles. And when the weight is behind the head, guess what? It's from it's like the furthest point that it can be away from you. Well, it can go further away, but it's gonna be heavier. Add eight pounds for your, your head. Anna's got a great option with their weight in front. Back is gonna arch when you lower the shoulders down. You press that low back into the mat when you come up. Woo! All right, we are up. Now we're gonna kind of focus on a little bit of burn here, a little blast. So we got a clockwork lunge. Right leg is gonna go forward, side, and back. You guys ready? You're up. Forward, side, back. Right leg, forward, side, right leg only. Right leg, forward, side, and back. Chest is up, you got athletic arms. A three-point lunge here. <sighs> athletic arms, right? I think I already said that. But you wanna move into a range that works for you. So if a front lunge is not good, you could just do a side lunge and a back lunge. Yep, Alex has got you covered. I knew she would. That side is like a little bump, then down, forward, side, down. Woo. All right, we're switching those legs. Get that heart rate up a little bit here. Woo! All right, feeling good though, right? Yes, that leg is ready to roll. Forward, side, and back. And each leg has different strengths here. Shoulders back, brace that core. Give me that drop in that back lunge. Maybe you're touching the ground. Woo. Sumo squat, so we're gonna stay with no weight here. Sumo squat. Turn, sumo squat, lunge. Oh yeah, let's go for it though, right? Oh yeah. Sumo squat, turn, hold, then turn, hold. You got it now. Find the rhythm, find the burn. Ooh, we don't have to jump to really turn things on here. Right? Oh yeah. And turn. All right, a little more dramatic pause in the lunge. Hold. Squat. Lunge. Oh my goodness, right? Woo! So we're gonna do a little jack touchdown. Drop out, drop in. 
can step it in, step it out, whatever works for you. You could add a turn to it if you want to. There we go. Drop. So take the options. Here's my option again, I can turn. Lots of different places to go with this. You can even just do jumping jacks. When you squat, drop your butt, bend your knees. Keep your eyes up. Out, hold, quick in. Uh, uh, right? Ooh. Touch the floor if you can. Come on, 10 seconds. Both push-ups are coming up. Get yourself energized. Oh yeah. Ooh. Push it. Woo! Full push-ups. We got three moves, you guys. Woo. You're gonna get through this. Push up, shift back, forward, then back. Come on, drop the chest. You can be on the knees, then come to plank. Woo! Oh yeah. We just did a lot of burning in the legs. We're gonna burn in the arms. Those hips at shoulder height. When you push forward into that push up. Press through those hands, you got this. Three, two, one. Cross mountain, staying on the ground. I don't want these fast, I want these a little slow. That means my knee goes to the opposite elbow. Plank, please. Oh yeah. Knee to opposite. It could be like a little hop to switch, but I don't want speed, I want core. I want strength in the arms. You don't necessarily have to touch that elbow just bring it over, cross as much as you can. Cross it up. You got 10 seconds. And it's one move. We finished with burpees today. Burpees. I'm gonna do the modification though. We're all gonna face you guys. I'm gonna do a squat lunge and stay low. Going in five. You got it. Last 45 seconds. Down and back. You can jump if you want. Woo! That's right, you do need a little like, oh yes, come on me. I can do this. Yes, I can. Ooh, yes, 20 seconds. Woo! You're like, still, that's a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho. Come on. Yes. Be your own cheerleader. Let's go for it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Done. Woo! Here, high fives, high five, high five, high five. Quick stretch, unless you got some place to go. Where are you going today? Yeah, nowhere? Woo. Oh, great job. Oh, give you a little twist in that back. Oh, you guys are great. Ooh. And you know, I do agree with everybody that it goes by fast when we do a no repeat for sure. All right, settle those feet down. Interlock behind the back, open the chest up. Oh, look upward. Hinge the chest, keeping the interlocking of the fingers. Dropping. Oh, shake your head a little no. Oh. And then shake it wherever you want to. Anna's going crazy. I just see all that hair. She's got and then relax the arms down, grab your elbows, have that wide straddle, 
and then just go a little swing side to side. Dropping the hands to the ground. Go for a little wider straddle if you can. If you feel like you've got mobility here, keep that wide straddle, press through the outside of the heels. Keep your right hand on the ground and then lift the chest up and reach the left arm so we're doing a rotation. It can be in the back, it can be up to the sky, but push down and open up. All right, let's switch the sides here. So lengthen out first, then hand on the ground, pull up and into the core and then reach up with that arm, that right arm. Back down, shift over to that side. You can go toe up, you're gonna shift to that right side for me, a lateral lunge, chest can be up. Take a deep breath here, let your body kind of settle and switch it to the other side. So it's a great, like that's a great place to end, right? A little bit of a heart rate pusher here, some strength and cardio kind of combinations at the end. Rev you up a little bit. Back to center, bring those legs in, roll up, give me figure four. So we're gonna just cross over right. If you feel like you need to be on the ground for this one, you can make your way to the ground. We're gonna stay standing here, shoulders down. Maybe push the knee a little bit. Switch the legs, find that figure four balance. and then we're gonna lunge. Let's lunge this leg back. It can be on the ground or, I'm gonna keep mine up because the ground is a little rough here. I tuck the tailbone, reach this arm up so we're getting through the front of the body here. Reach up and back. If you've got great length, you can go up position here, but if you need a little support, right? Go for some support. Switch the legs. Tuck under. Reach up, dropping shoulder here, but you can still lift up the torso. Back to center, come in, big inhale, reach all the way up, reach back. Elbows to your back pockets. All the way up. Hands in prayer through your center of your body here. That is it. Great job, you guys. Oh, awesome job. That was fun. Woo, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again for a full body. Take care. Woo. All right, great job. Thank mm -hmm. you.